Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, darling. So today is the day before Thanksgiving, guys, and I got inspired to make a few candles for uh, for gifts for uh, for friends. Okay, this is the first one that I made, guys. Oh my God, I mix cassis and Aldwood from Stone Candles, and I have to say, guys, I made it yesterday, and this is epic. Okay, so I'm letting it cure now. I'm gonna uh, cut the trim, uh, cut the uh, the wick on that stuff, guys. But I'm gonna. Be making more candles, and I'm gonna be using these two uh, different vessels that I have in here because these are the vessels that I'm not gonna be using for my for my candle lamp. But I wanna give this to uh, to very special friends. Okay, so let's go inside now and let's start formulating for these beautiful candles. Yes. Okay, so uh, let me just start making some space in here, guys. For my candles, the first thing I'm gonna work on, guys, is gonna be on selecting the fragrance oils that I wanna be using uh, because it's the holiday time and I know my friend Emily, Pine Sand, uh, Fraser Fur, stuff like that. So I'm gonna be using Fraser Fur from The Stanley's with Sound Candle Supply and I'm gonna be trying also, um, I'm gonna get out some of the holidays uh, oils that I have in here, guys. Oils, you know, I don't like Christmas tree at all. Uh, but this one is a Christmas uh, hearth. Let's see what it smells like. Okay, this is much better than the Christmas tree one. Uh, this one smells holiday to me. Uh, it smells like some kind of sweet. It has some kind of a uh, spice. So I'm gonna keep this, this one to the side. And this is from Candle Sign. This is called Christmas hearth. And if you guys have tried this, please let me know. Okay, I'm just experimenting, guys. You know me, I love to, you know, to be special. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna try also the Fraser Fur from Candle Science. Let's see. Okay, this is good, so I, maybe I can combine the two of them. Again, I'm experimenting. Let's see what we have here, guys. I have some of the oils, the label, just disappear. Okay, I have another one, Birchwood Pine. Epic. Oh my God, I think, I think this should be enough. I'm not gonna play with Christ a Christmas heart. I'm just gonna keep it simple. Okay, this one could give a, a twist of it, you know, and it's like, what is that, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna try doing this. I don't wanna make it too complicated, guys. I wanna simple, you know, I know they like the kind of uh, fragrance they like, so I don't wanna start mixing stuff like that that they may they may not like, okay? Let me try, you know what? I have this rosemary sage that I used with the other one. Uh, no, I'm gonna keep it like that. Okay, so I'm gonna make four different uh, fragrance strips. And guys, let me tell you something. Um, so every time that I try uh, make a special formula, guys, and I just reach for an oil, and that's the first oil that I grab, guys, uh, I've been very lucky, so I've been successful, so I'm gonna keep it like this. And um, uh, the more complicated I make my life, and you see all these oils in here, and if I start picking from these oils to mix with that, I'm not gonna go anywhere. I'm not gonna get anywhere, okay? So, uh, let's start. One begin. Okay, let me see. I can see what I'm doing here. Okay, frosted juniper. Yes. Okay, next one. Fraser Fur from West Ham Candle Supply. My friend Emily. She lives in uh, New Jersey with her uh, her wife, Kate, and uh, the two kids. I'm very proud of them, guys. They, they have done such a wonderful so part. A wonderful job raising her two kids, guys, and uh, the kids are like I'm watching them grow. You know, it's unbelievable. I think they're five or six by now. I think five or six. I'm pretty sure they're there, but they're so smart. I mean, they really know how to teach uh, those kids how to uh, learn. You know, it's it's so it's so, something so innovative. You know, that I'm so so happy to see that. You know, okay, let's see. The first one, I'm gonna take uh, the Fraser Fur because it's gonna be the main one from Just Stanley Supply. 
I mean, just Stanley's uh, West Ham Candle Supply. And this is Heaven, guys. I love it. I'm gonna compare it to the one from Candle Science and see the difference. Okay. The one from Candle Science, it has barely any strength. I'm not gonna use the Candle Science one. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep the the one from uh, from West Ham Candle Supply. Because why make something bad? The price for this one here, it's not, it's not giving it to me, okay? So I'm gonna keep the, the one from West Handle, West, Ca West Hand Candles, and then I'm gonna mix it with, let's see, Frosted Juniper from Candle Science. Okay, uh, this one is also very weak, but it could be good because it will not be competing with Fraser Fur. Let's see how it melts together. Okay, and this is epic. Again, uh, Fraser Fur is the star of the show, and that's what we want. Okay. Okay, so let's put Frosted Juniper aside. Love this place for guys. Okay, let's try Birchwood Pine from Flaming Candle. Uh, this is not as strong, but it could be a good thing because that way it will keep Fraser Fur to be the star of the show. Okay, this is epic. This combination because you know you can distinguish the different notes. And this one, I'm gonna add Frosted Juniper. Okay, this is gonna be magic. This is the magic, guys. It's beautiful, okay? But I wanna do something else. Something because my eye caught this. I'm gonna add some of this. Caribbean thick wood, why not? Something unexpected on a holiday candle. Sometimes that's the best way to become uh, to to come up with a masterpiece let your intuition guide you you know um it will take you to a very good place most of the time and the cats are meowing they're hungry two more hours for feeding time okay so let's see this beautiful mix in here it's magical Caribbean take wood, guys. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna take out the birch wood and pine because I wanna have Caribbean take wood to have a chance to sing in the party too. Oh my god! Oh my goodness gracious, guys! These two together, uh, first of fur and Caribbean teak wood. Wow, okay, I'm gonna add the frosted juniper for the holiday spirit. Okay, and I'm gonna add a little bit of clove. I'm gonna keep out the birch wood pine. I'm not gonna use it. Okay, that's... This is what happens, guys, when you have experience like me, you know? Like I know, you know, okay, what's gonna smell good and what's, what's not. Okay, so I need to find the clove from the stone, stone candles. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna add, I'm gonna try and see See dark champagne. I'm gonna try and see how dark champagne smells with this. So dark champagne. Okay. So I had this big baby out. Dark champagne. And I'm gonna see which one smells better, the club or dark champagne. Okay. And club is gonna be only like a very tiny amount. So I'm gonna make a very uh, minimal. Just a tip like that, just a tiny bit, because I don't want it to be overpowering. I'm just playing with this, and just I just want. I'm very curious, you know. It's okay, and the next champa, the same thing. I want this to be in the background. I don't want it to be strong. Okay. Oh my god, this is potent. 
Okay, here we go. First, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna separate it again. Okay, so I'm gonna take Fraser Fur, which is the star of the show. Wow. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of cloth, just to see if it gives me, gives me the holiday spirit. Absolutely, it does. My goodness. I'm gonna put black shampoo. So I'm putting them farther down, as you can see. You see? The one in the middle is fresh fur, the ones on the side, and the, the smaller amount is clove and black shampoo. Oh my goodness. Guys, this is amazing. Amazing. Okay, frosted juniper. I'm not gonna use. Let me put this back. You see, guys, this is what experience gets you. I, I learned how to identify sophisticated oils. And these are very sophisticated oils, okay? Let me see, are you in Caribbean take food to this? Huge hit, huge hit. Okay, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna be using four different oils, okay? This is gonna be the combination. Let me just get a, a candle making worksheet, I'll be right back. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave out a Caribbean tape, guys, um, because I want the first part to really be the start of the show. So I'm gonna be using these three. And that's gonna be my final answer. So this three here, can you see? It's gonna be Fraser Fur, it's gonna be the star. Nag Shampa and Club is gonna be the secondary ones, okay? And I think by keeping it like this, simple, but sophisticated, it's gonna be a huge success. Okay, today is the 24th, and I'm gonna, uh, and I'm gonna call this uh, Emily and Kate candle, okay? Okay guys, so I changed my mind. Uh, I'm not gonna use the ceramic. I'm not gonna use the ceramic one, guys, because um, this is for a very special friend, you know, and I just, I'm, I'm just gonna surprise her and I'm gonna give her this beautiful mask white masquerade vessel in here. I'm pretty sure she's gonna love this. So, this is from 1617.com. Look at how, how beautiful this is. And this to me screams holiday and she's gonna love this candle, guys. So I'm gonna prep this for her. Okay, and let me just put this aside because this is gonna be the same packaging and I'm gonna be using to mail to her. Okay. So Emily and Kate, this is gonna be a candle made from me to you guys. Uh, I hope you like it, okay? so. Let's start doing the beautiful candle. Yes! Great right, guys, I'm gonna make a beautiful holiday candle. Uh, so I'm gonna make it using soybean wax and I'm gonna be using beautiful formula that I just created, guys. It's uh, gonna be using Fraser fur, <sighs> clove, and nag shampoo. And this screams holiday. Oh my God. I'm, I'm pretty sure she's gonna love this, okay? So, so these are the oils. This one is Nag Champa. And these two, I'm gonna use very minimal of these guys because I want uh, the Fraser Fur to be the star of the show because they love to have uh, this, uh, they love the, the pine scent, you know, the, the, the different pines, uh, the evergreens, okay? So I got in here, the masquerade. And I'm gonna clean it. alcohol and I'm so happy that I made this before so I know I'm gonna wick it using CDN wicks I'm gonna be using three CDN four wicks and I know they're gonna be uh, ready for this because I have another candle which is similar to this one and the three CDN fours they're working like like a charm so oh my god they're gonna love this candle perfect perfect perfection okay 
So I have in here this, I have the Centering Week from 1617.com. I'm gonna put it right here at the bottom because I'm gonna be using the three CDM4s. Let me just find them now. Uh, Emily was my boss when I was working at, at People's Salwash. You know, uh, I we got to work together not that long, two, a few, I think a year or two. I don't remember. Maybe two years. I don't know. Anyway, so, you know, she was my boss, you know, and to me, she was always very nice. You know, it's, she knew my limits on doing my work, you know, she knew that I don't have the, I didn't have the, uh, the preparation as other uh, graphic uh, designers, whatever it was, you know, I was a, uh, I was a production artist for the for the magazine, and um, so you know she was always very helpful to me, you know, and that's something that I really appreciate, you know, that when people recognize, you know, okay, this is what Michael is good at, you know, it's I, she knew, so you know, and I really appreciated that, you know, it's so many people just don't care, you know. And, you know, to me, she's like a small sister, you know, that's, I mean, even though I could be, I'm old enough to be her father, but, you know, it's, you know, I'm just saying goodbye that last day when I left and just giving her my, my ID, you know, and just on, on the, on the elevator bank, you know, that's, guys, uh, that's the toughest part. You know, when you are with a company for so many years and you get to retire and you, and, you know, it's just, you know, that that's the last day after all, all these years, you know, it's that, it's like everything is in slow motion, you know, saying goodbye to the building that you went there for 35 years, almost, uh, looking all around you, you know, and to see, you know, oh my God, you know, it's, it feels like it was yesterday that I started working there and the years went by so fast and that's the way life is, you know? Um, that's why, you know, it's like, Guys, when you get an opportunity in life, grab it, because you're not gonna have a second chance. That's my best advice that I can give to any of you guys uh, that are starting out now. You know, it's it's something that, I don't know how to explain it, but you know, it's, it's just, life gives you so many surprises, you know, so. Okay, so let me just center this now. Okay, perfect. So, let me just set it aside, let me just put it aside. Okay, so now, uh, let me look for the candle that I made. Okay, the white masquerade. Uh, it's going to be 25 ounces of wax. And for 10% fragrance oil, it's gonna be 2.5 ounces. I want the different oils to be distinctive, uh, but I want the face of fur to be at the start. That's why I'm doing this, guys. And by just giving it on place in their story, because this is gonna start a story. And the main character is gonna be Fraser Fur. I'm telling you guys, I love this scale. It's amazing how accurate it is that I'm being able to measure 0.375. Perfect. Okay, the club is singing. Now Shampa is next. So tear. 0.375. Oh my God, this combination is amazing. It's amazing, guys. It's just like, um, so different from anything else that I ever tried. Absolutely beautiful. Tear, and then this one. The oil is here. Yes! Oh my God. Guys, it smells so good. It smells like magic. Like I told you before, guys, this is what makes me happy when I'm making a candle. It brings me so much joy to know that I'm doing this beautiful masterpiece, you know, for someone that I love, uh, that is nothing compares to this, guys. No, no money, no money can bring me this joy that I'm just having right now, okay? So let's go outside and let's make the candle. Yes! Okay guys, so we have in here the the, mas the white masquerade and I have the wax in here warming up 
I have the scale in here, my thermometer. Let me just go get the, the oil. Okay, 231 is temperature. Let's do the side. Tear. Okay, let me just move this aside. Let me 25 ounces. Oh, and I remember the other one I, I did overfill, so 24.8 is good enough. Let me just add the oil. Let's check the temperature. 216, time to add the oil. Okay, time to... Oh my God, it smells amazing, guys. It smells heavenly. It smells like pure holiday. She's gonna love this. See, it's a lot of wax in here, guys. So we need to really mix this really well. Because you want this to be combined throughout. Oh my God, it smells amazing. And again, guys, you have to really work uh, very hot on this soy bliss wax. It needs to be uh, very, very hot in order for the oil to bind, you know, it's to the wax. This, that's what I noticed, you know, everybody's different. Okay, the masterpiece. The masterpiece is done. Ta-da! Beautiful, guys. Let me just go clean up before this gets solid. We're back. Guys, we're back! Yes! So here we have the beautiful masterpiece that I just created for my friend Emily and Kate in New Jersey. So again, these are the three different oils that I use and um, the goal was to make a holiday candle for them and I'm gonna be using Fraser Fur as the main player. Okay, this is from West Sander, West Sound Candle Supply. Then I use a touch of clove from Stone Candles and a touch of Nag Champa, okay? And this is giving me life, okay? So I hope that they like it, I'm sure they will. Okay guys, so don't forget to uh, come and see me uh, next Sunday on the live stream on November 28th, uh, 12 noon Pacific Standard Time, okay? So I'll see you Sunday, take care. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving, bye. Yes!